Hello YouTube, it's Rick Rawlings and welcome back to another edition of Let's Fly Wings Over Flanders Fields. We're up to mission number 12, the first dozen. Uh, let's go take a look at our campaign here. We've got Jean-Louis Chanchat fighting for France, flying for Escadrille 38. Uh, we are in 1917, tail end of bloody April. Let's go take a look at our squadron page. So we're at full force. We are up currently to Lieutenant, Lieutenant I don't know how they say it in French, Lieutenant, I don't know if they say that. But uh, that's where we're at. Uh, we're going to advance a couple days just since we flew our last mission just yesterday and we like to spread things out a little bit. Assuming that we flew a couple of missions in between, but nothing happened. No contact, no excitement. Hmm, Manfred von Richthofen. I wonder if we're going to be hearing anything more about him. Who knows? One more day. All right, here we are, the 29th of April, 1917. Let's head over to the briefing room, see if we've got anything on the plate today. All right, in the briefing room, we've got a uh, mission of patrolling friendly front lines. So let's take a look. So we've got, just going to go right along the front line sector here. If we zoom in a little bit. I believe these circles are sort of spawn ranges for the missions. So if, you, if I went up to St. Quentin, for example, I probably wouldn't encounter anybody. But in this general area is where we're going to see... Uh, flights take place. I know we've got a bunch of aerodromes right back here. So hopefully we'll run into somebody along the front lines. Going to head off to the east and work our way back west. Let's take a look at our loadout here. So we'll get everybody down to 80% fuel. Be pretty good. We are <laughs> all 24s except for uh, Ombradan who's in a Newport 23. So he'll be struggling to catch up. Other than that, I think we are, what is that, I didn't know what this is. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, learn something new every day. So here's the flight lineup. These are my uh, my wingmen. So we've got one ace, Madon. These other guys are above average or good. All right, so I'm gonna head off to the field and I'll meet you there. All right, here we are on the old field. Engine going. Weather's pretty nice. Sun's up. Check our control surfaces. Give her a little juice here. A little forward pressure just to keep the nose down initially. And once we're here, I'll just roll back on that stick. Up we go. There's our observation balloon. Where are these guys coming in? These are friendly recon on the way back from somewhere. Whoa. <laughs> Not exactly sure what that guy just did. Anybody around us here? Situated. So it drops down. Give it a little more juice. Some people landing while others are taking off. Is that what's going on? All right, I think we are all set. We'll head off to the front, pull you back when whatever happens, happens. All right, here we are back at it. We've got a 
bunch of stuff going on here. So we got some German recon and looks like maybe a fighter escort as well. With flak burst coming in, so let's see what we can do. Whoa. Craft. I already have people on them. Let's see what's going on with the albatross? This guy coming after me? Might be coming after me. After them. All right, so we've got two seater back there. A few scouts out above us. They just just running away. Oh yeah, that's why. A flight's coming in. So we're not going to go tangle with that two-seater. This guy, however, is right up our alley. Good old Albatross D2. It's doing some interesting flying there. Somebody. Port. It's a new port. Not exactly sure what happened to the German that I was chasing. I know one was going back across the lines. Was that over there? Richie's found me. Alright, I guess I'll roll back. Probably not going to catch those. See who I can find around here. There's a guy right there. Two's down here crossing the lines. There's a truck convoy, look at that. It's right there. I'm sure nobody else is coming in on us. I don't know about that guy. He's 
not coming on us at the moment. Oh, we just, well, okay. We kind of solved that problem. Give <laughs> me a fire shot. I go in this way. Let's imagine that he is quite possibly an enemy. And we'll see if we can. It's going to be a long chase. I shut all my altitude there. Oops, there's other stuff up here too. We'll give it a try. Chasing aircraft. Better than not chasing aircraft, whether they be friend or foe. That guy is one of the two seats. I don't know why I'm getting such. Oh, my flak is all jaggly. It's weird. <clears throat> this guy up here. These are new ports. That's interesting. We've got a German two seater. Chasing new Newport, so I presume we're chasing somebody. And of course, Archie's everywhere. about a week out from taking a glancing hit in the noggin from one of these two-seat aircraft. I'm not 100% sure I'm ready to jump on another one, but got to do our duty, I suppose. Pitch like his engine is out. Let's go take a closer look. Maybe this won't be as fraught as I initially thought. Sometimes they try to coast back across the lines if their engine gets knocked out. He's got that sort of upwards angle of attack that sometimes indicates that. No, uh, looks like his prop's still spinning. Bunch of planes over there. Oh yeah. This guy's still got some fight in him. There's another group that I saw coming in. Over there.
try to keep an eye out for that. There's another bunch of planes around here somewhere. If they... <clears throat> yeah, okay. If they show up and are Germans, that could be trouble. Is this guy the only guy shooting at me? This is, like, insane. Look at this! a little ridiculous. on him there. Look at my poor plane. Usually when your plane's shot up on one side like that, it'll... Oh my god. Where is he? It'll pull heavily to that side. Okay, this is really weird. is uh, a bug or something. I don't even, there's nobody to be shooting me. So I, I don't know what my altitude is, but it feels like I'm too high up to be getting ground fired. When I was a kid, Granddad used to spin yarns of a spectral Fokker that would patrol the fronts, filling planes through a full of bullet holes, even though he was invisible.
Alright, I am gonna go find a place to land and uh, write this one up as just a really weird mission. So I'll see you at the landing unless something else happens. Alright, we're coming in to land here. We've got a pretty significant list to port. So I'm going to probably do a fairly hot landing to make sure I don't stall out. Try to avoid these trees we could. Smoke from a down aircraft over there. Because as I try to cut the engine, watch out for the offense right there. For us. There's somebody up here. All right. Put the mixture. Whew. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. Here. All those bullet holes. The whole wing was getting chewed up. I've had I, once in a while I'll get that sort of weird somebody shooting me, but I don't know where they're shooting me from kind of thing. So, but this was highly unusual. Let's go take a look at the debrief and see if we can uh, figure out what's going on. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to time compress here for a few minutes because if your friendly pilots are still flying over the line, it's always best to kind of let time compress run for a bit so they have a chance to get back on the friendly lines before the mission closes to make sure that they're okay. So I'll see you in the debrief in a few minutes. All right, here we are. Um, squadron debrief. That was a strange mission. So congratulations on your claims. <laughs> Maybe I shot down that two-seater. I don't know. I'm not going to claim it because I, I didn't see it go down and I don't have a lot of confidence that I hit him. Aircraft was moderately damaged. Uh, four machines landed safely. That's interesting. Three took off, four landed. It's, it's always a plus. So let's see what's going on with this particularly strange mission. I guess number 12 had to be kind of weird, right? So let's see. Everybody in B flight is ultimately okay. Madone uh, slightly wounded. Two aircraft shot down from B flight, even though I won't claim that one. Um, two shot down from A flight, but we lost two pilots. Kalane uh, and Martinek both killed, and Marinovich was lightly wounded. Wow, that was a that was a consequential flight. Okay, let's take a look. Like I said, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to claim that guy because I don't know what. I have no idea if I actually shot him. I didn't think I shot him down. Okay. So, 8 out of 10. Now we're going to review the mission really quick because I want to see if this feature shows us anything. Shows us anything of what happened here. It so became airborne. You see us tracing the path of flight up to the front. Encountered. Takes it from rolling. 672 feet away. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was interested in. 653 feet away. 54 feet, taking hits. Five hundred 
718 feet away. So 15. Over a thousand feet away, he's, he's, he's hitting me. Look at that. <laughs> this guy, if he's not the, on the Olympic team, he needs to be. Where's this? So this is me closing in. Let's see what range I'm at when I'm hitting him. So I hit him right there, the last one. 430 feet. Or 30 feet. Oops. Landed there. And then anything else? Oh, that's it. All right. So yeah, this is this is kind of a nice little review feature if you want to see. So I don't know some of these thousand, eleven hundred foot shots seem a bit suspicious. But, you know, all, I think a lot of flight simulators, especially with tail gunners, you have to get that balance between being um, believable and being, you know, n not a threat. And so I think that broke down a little bit too far out on either side there. But at any rate, we, that, I guess that was a successful mission number 12. A little kind of weird for me, but um, as we wind up Getting to the end of Bloody April here. I hope you enjoyed our continued service in Let's Fly Wings Over Flanders Fields, and we'll catch you next time for mission number 13. And this is Rick Rawlings, and thanks for watching.